Hello and welcome to the Blue Review. Today we are talking about Get Smarts, Bruce and Lloyd, out of control. And they are. They are totally out of their fucking minds. Alright, so here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure what Warner Brothers was thinking when they put this movie together, but it's kind of a piece of shit. It's not, like, horrible, horrible, like, unbearably unwatchable horrible, but it's not very good either. It felt like an extended sitcom pilot. Like, they were putting it on. It had that level, that sort of, like, um, that quality to it, you know? It almost felt like it was more of a sitcom than it necessarily was a movie. It didn't get me excited to see Get Smart. It got me very worried to see Get Smart. It had very sitcom-y lighting, setting, and jokes. And a lot of, like, you know, found footage of, like, every, like, helicopter shots and shit like that. Um, and it's only an hour and 12 minutes long. So if you've gone out and spent 30 bucks on this, you're going to be fucking pissed. I don't know what Warner Brothers was thinking with this, but this should have been, like, a huge discounted item. I know it's from Warner Premiere, but let's get realistic. Nobody wants to spend $30 on this movie. You know, there's nothing about it where people are like, oh, my God, I want to spend 30 bucks on this movie. There's really no need. As far as the transfer, this was shot on uh, HD, so it is what it is. It's not a bad transfer. Um, there isn't a whole lot of stuff about it that pop, and again, it has a very kind of sitcomish feel. So if you want to pay thirty bucks for like an episode, <laughs> not like an episode and a half of an hour-long sitcom, go pick this one up. And the audio was largely negligible. So there is Bruce and Lloyd out of control and Warner Brothers out of their fucking minds. Peace.